yes, you can get hacked by a QR code. And today, we talk about how an innocent looking image outside the local grocery store can steal money from your bank account. Before we get into the good stuff in today's video, let's understand what a QR code is and how they work. A QR code is basically an image, but it isn't your everyday average image. A QR code, abbreviated from quick response code, is a type of matrix barcode or two-dimensional barcode first designed in 1994 for the automotive industry in Japan. A barcode is a machine-readable optical label that contains information about the item to which it is attached. A QR code consists of black squares arranged in a square grid on a white background, which can be read by an imaging device such as a camera, and processed using the Reed Solomon error correction until the image can be appropriately interpreted. The required data is then extracted from patterns that are present in both horizontal and vertical components of the image. QR codes are of varying dimensions depending on how much data they are meant to hold. So why did I think of this idea? I recently watched a video by fellow YouTuber Matt KC in which he, very skillfully might I add, was able to put an entirely playable game into a QR code. You scan it and boom, you have a fully playable game of Snake that not gonna lie did bring back memories of the old Nokia phones. In the video, Matt said that an implementation of this sort, while awesome, is also quite risky from a security perspective. He of course couldn't cover this in that video as it was out of the scope for that video and would also lend in said video. At the time, I thought, hmm, how bad can this be? And I also didn't know how someone may hack into my device with a QR code. But now, after taking a deeper look into the topic, I can finally see what security issues someone can face. So I made this video to show you what I learned. How would someone hack you with the QR code? I have thought of two major ways someone could go about this and any other method should most probably just be a derivative of it. Number one, using a link in the QR code. You can encode anything into a QR code. But because of the size limitations, this may be the path that a lot of people take when attempting to hack you. A link. All of us have heard of phishing scams. A lot of us got that email asking us to claim our inheritance from a prince in Uganda or on a more realistic note, enter our Facebook credentials because there has been a hack or a breach of our account. To understand how this method of attack would work, let's consider the following scenario. You go into the local McDonald's, you reach there and you see a QR code on a piece of paper outside. Below the QR code, the words scan the QR code, log into the McDonald's official website and claim a free meal for yourself. You think it's a pretty cool deal and without thinking, scan the QR code. It leads to a website that looks very official and well made. You don't think to check the link and click the login button. The options login with Google, login with Facebook and login with Apple ID show up there. You quickly log into the website and after receiving a code that you can supposedly use for free food, you head inside to claim your free meal. By the time you reach the counter and realize that you have made a mistake, someone on the other side of the login page has already logged into your account and done the damage or stolen the account. Of course, this attack comes with several disadvantages for the hacker. If the victim has two-factor authentication enabled, or if the QR code is discovered by an employee at McDonald's and removed, or if the victim is tech-savvy enough to know that the link is not actually the McDonald's website, the attack won't work. However, Phishing is still a common way to attack someone nowadays because of the fact that not everyone understands technology and security to the point where they can protect themselves. 
how would you protect yourself from something like this well the first step would be don't click such links even if you did click the link be sure to check the url see if it is protected by https see if it is actually on a mcdonald's domain name make sure to check the link before proceeding to the web page check first hand with mcdonald's if such an offer exists enabling two factor authentication is probably the best thing to do to protect yourself from something like this follow all these steps and you will be safe from phishing attacks the next method will involve some more engineering however if a hacker is determined enough to execute this he can the work involved will be more in this method but the results of such a hack can be tremendously profitable for the hacker depending on the victims of course this method will involve writing malware into the qr code using the same method that matt kc used write code and encode it into the qr code size limitations not a major problem a qr code can hold up to 3 kilobytes of data a 177 by 177 qr code can hold up to 2953 bytes more than enough to put some simple viruses in there there's an entire family known as mini or trivial which contains the smallest computer viruses ever created with some of them being as small as 13 bytes if you think about that being the size of one of the viruses you can imagine the enormous budget that the hacker has for expansion upon this virus if you see this clip from matt kc's video he coded the application to run automatically upon being decoded from the qr code imagine that execution upon delivery if you don't have a security system in place your computer could very easily be infected with the virus however computers are rarely used for scanning qr codes what if you used an android phone well there are methods and malware available for every device on the planet there are ways to hack into everything nothing is ever 100% safe this is the mindset that hackers start out with and that is what helps them hack into basically anything they want to be it security systems for your house or traffic lights or the devices in hospitals like pacemakers basically anything can be hacked into anything that you use to scan such a qr code can get hacked but what does all this mean for the future even more smart devices and a heavily interconnected network could mean that we get hacked very easily picture this you're wearing your smart glasses that have a built-in camera and a qr code scanner you could just look at a malicious qr code and get hacked someone could put a qr code into your youtube video and you would get hacked by watching a video with smart glasses on it might seem far fetched but it could be the near future don't worry i haven't put any malicious qr codes in this video so i think the question is how do we protect ourselves are we forever vulnerable to attacks from qr codes the answer is no of course not if you have a good personal security system in place you can easily protect yourself from a cyber attack remember you can never be too careful because there are new methods being invented to hack into more and more devices every single day 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 day